Hi, this is Alex again. I wanted to elaborate more on what I was talking about before. This is part two of my video diary on intersex people, which I am one of. So, androgen insensitivity syndrome is a condition to where, um, you know, you might be born completely female, but have male DNA. Uh, you could be born completely male, but have female DNA, which is like XX. Or you could have XX. You could have XY, which is male. Um, like I have XY DNA, but yet I appear female. But I am female, according to the law. But according to me, I am my own gender. I am Alex. Just me. That's why I picked a unigender name because that's what it is. So, more on me. When I was born, I was born in Boston. And the doctors didn't know what to call me when I was born. They thought, oh, it's a girl. Wait. Yet this girl has things that aren't supposed to be there. Okay, so they whisked me away and they did a whole bunch of tests and they come to find out that I have this really weird condition that they have no clue what it is. So I was baby X for a while. They didn't know what gender to call me until they did all this testing and stuff like that and then they found out, oh, it's a girl. But yet, it has male DNA. So, it's an intersex girl. So, they went and they told my mom. And my mom, by this time, was freaking out because she's like, Oh my god, what's wrong with my baby? There's like four doctors walking in this room, sitting down, and saying, We have to talk to you about your child. And she was completely freaking out. <laughs> so, what ended up happening was, they were like, Oh, your daughter's fine. Blah, blah, blah. But... She has this and this and this and this and this. And then they rattled off all the, the things that was wrong with me. And she was like, well, is she happy? They were like, yeah. They're like, well, is she healthy? They're like, yeah. Then what the fuck do I care about whatever you're talking about? She's my daughter. I want to take her home. Can I see her? They're like, sure. So they brought me in and she was like, oh, she's okay. Yeah, she's a little big down there, but she's still okay. So, when I was four and a half, I had two surgeries, which I don't want to go into because they're painful to talk about. Um, and growing up, I grew up as a girl. Around 14, I was still a girl. Uh, at 12, I started taking estrogen pills because I have no ovaries, fallopian tubes, or uterus, which means... I can't have my own kids, and I don't have a menstrual cycle, which a lot of you are like, ooh, so lucky. A lot of girls are probably, like, so jealous of me, but there's nothing to be jealous of. I wouldn't wish this on anybody in the world, because it's just this horrible thing that I don't like, but it's just part of who I am. So, I... I grew up along. Uh, I grew up as a girl, which I've already said. But there, around 18, I was like, well, you know, I kind of feel like a boy. And then I started taking testosterone for about a year, and I'm like, eh, this is kind of not for me. So I went back on estrogen and decided to be a girl again. And that was hell. Switching from one to the other, the hormones are like raising all over the place. I lost a couple of friends because nobody wanted to be around me and stuff like that. But, you know, as time went on, everything was fine. And now I'm just myself. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um,. On either Facebook 
or I have MySpace, I have groups on Facebook and MySpace, I, um, whatever. My name is Alex Riley. And if you would like to look me up on, yeah, on Facebook or MySpace, feel free. That's all.